special, 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 fun, 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 happy time, time, time. We have Noxious, everybody. We have Noxious. We have Noxious. The agent of treachery himself. The anti teferi master of everything. I don't know if any of those are accurate, but we're going to go with them all anyway. Um, Noxious, amazing YouTuber, great streamer, very entertaining. If you don't already know him, make sure to check out his YouTube channel. Try to catch his stream if you can. Uh, he also does a co-host stream with Day9 uh, called What the Deck, where they do various jank decks. It's a great show, so definitely make sure to check that out as well. Uh, but that's who we have this week for the show. It's awesome. Uh, we gave him the new spicy meatball that we're working on right now. When this video launches, we're still in the process of working on it. So it's in its infancy stage, probably in its second trimester. So hopefully by next week, we'll have an official launch version of the deck. So uh, it'll be really interesting. But yeah, we're using Mirari's Wake and uh, some land destruction. So let's see how well he does with it, shall we? So this is the deck that we ended up throwing at Noxious. Uh, we have Yorin the Sky Nomad. This is really just there to have an excuse of going up to 80 cards. You can blink Haphazard Bombardment. Not really a big deal, but it is an option there if you really wanted to. Uh, you can also use it for Elvish Rejuvenator to get another land on the battlefield, which is a pretty good idea, uh, especially if you're just trying to thin out your deck. Whatever, get if you have cards at the bottom of your library that you need to filter to the top. Elvish Rejuvenator does help with that as well. Um... Outside of that, it's basically pointless. We have three Fave Wishes that gives us access to the sideboard, being Grab Digger's Cage, Soul Guide Lantern, um, Flicker of Fate. This is just like a cheeky little thing to do for Haphazard Bombardment. Um, Clear the Mind. This is because you're, you can get very close to decking. Um, so this is... I don't want to say it's necessary, but it, it's pretty close to necessary. Uh, Ixalan's Binding and Elspeth Conquers Death. This is usually used against control matchups. Now we have one Mirari Swake, one Haphazard Bombardment, and one Sunbirds in sideboard just in case we don't get any main board. We just have one in sideboard just so we can wish for it. So if we have one of the, the components that we don't have uh, on the battlefield currently. So that's what we use those for. Then we have Omniscience. This is just so we can cast things for Freezies. And then if we can get Omniscience and Finale of Revelation, that's just the icing on the cake. It's basically a good game at that point. If we can Omniscience and then Finale, it's just like we draw our entire deck and we just cast for a bajillion. Um, Banefire is there uh, to also just do a ton of damage. Because uh, once you have a few Mirari's Wakes out, one or two, it's usually pretty much game after that. It's, it's insane. Um, so we have Growth Spiral, Eversh Rejuvenator, and Uro for our early game ramp. All great cards that puts additional lands into play. Specifically, we're playing cards that puts lands into play. This is because of the fact that we're using Mirari's Wake. Mirari's Wake is whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana of any type that land produced. So you're essentially just adding an additional land. It's of that same color. So it really only benefits you for how many lands you have on the battlefield. That's why we don't necessarily want Enchantment Ramp. We don't want, you know, like Gift of Paradise, Wolf Follow Haven. We don't need Chromatic Lantern or things like that. We need actual physical lands on the battlefield. Now, we didn't want to do anything with, like, Grow from the Ashes and stuff like that because we don't have many basic lands. We're only running four basic lands. We don't have any gates. So it's just kind of eh. So really, our only options are Growth Spiral, Elvish Rejuvenator, and Uro. That's why we're running all of them. Um, we have Deafening Clarion, Shatter the Sky, Storm's Wrath for early board wipes. Storm's Wrath also hits Planeswalkers, which is beautiful. Uh, Drawn from Dreams, this is just amazing. You have an 80-card deck. You need to dig for certain specific combo pieces. You're looking at the top seven cards of your library. You're able to pick two of them. It's an amazing card. Um, Whirlwind of Thought, this is just a crazy card draw engine. Um, Mirari Swake, again, just there for sheer amounts of crazy ramp. Haphazard Bombardment, amazing land destruction. Sunbird's Invocation, this is a pseudo ramp. Just depending on what you cast, you can cast something off of it from inside your library, uh, which is also fantastic. 
and starve extinction giant board wipe giant 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 board wipe outside of that just a bunch of lands we could probably throw in like one field of the dead just for funsies i guess it's not the worst idea but i don't know if we really need it it's just kind of i think it would kind of mess up our curve a little bit even if we just added one it's that one time that we needed an untapped land or a colored land that we end up getting a colorless a force tapped colorless i don't think it would be bad it would be nice to get off a growth spiral elf rejuvenator uro so maybe it's not the worst but i don't know i'd have to play around with it a bit but that's what the deck is i love this deck strider and i hope it's good because i i love this thing this is exactly the type of deck I would play 24-7. So, sideboard, Loise, you fetch Omniscience. We don't have... Okay, we have Fae of Wishes. We, okay, you don't have Thousand Year Storm. You're, you're, a very, you're a very nasty person. Thousand Year Storm with, with Star of Extinction wanted to be here so badly. It's crying itself to sleep. What a beautiful deck. But when it comes to making Sunbirds work in a fair environment, it just sounds borderline impossible. Too easy. If a deck can't quickly get its stuff out and have a big turn 5 play, it loses. That's true in both Historic and Standard. Correct, yeah. So Mirari's Wake just sounds to me like it's one of those cards that if you if you already have a board, let's say you're playing green-white tokens and you can leverage the X cost with, I don't know, a March of Multitudes or a big 10 drop like Ulamog, right? So you've got the, some of the ramp components of those colors. I think it, it can function. But in this particular deck, uh, I feel like we're missing too much card draw to consistently hit our power plays. So I think adding the Omen of the Seed of the deck is going to give it a lot more early game consistency. I think the consistency we'll get out of this will, will be very visible. So um, hopefully the game goes a little bit differently. This deck would be a lot better with fires. You're not wrong. Now ask me if I want to play it. <laughs> that haphazard. Oh, that haphazard. <laughs> if they can't blow up... Oh, God, that, that might suck. That could suck. Let's see, do they have God Pharaoh's Gift? They could have God Pharaoh's Gift. Yeah, it's God Pharaoh's Gift. Alright, bud, I'm sorry. You're not gonna get to keep your lands. I'm sorry, bud. It's just, it's not happening. That's going away, and this shit's all going away as well, so I'm sorry. Something's got to give, and you're not resolving this as long as I can choose to, lot, to not let you. So next turn, we'll bounce the Haphazard to then put more counters onto everything. What is a horrible card of the fires? Oof, Nisa. Well, they, the lands die to shatter the sky. They're smart, though. They're they're making the ones that explode the, the creatures. Very smart move by Oponento. Big brain right there. Big, Really big brain. Honestly, the biggest brain. Um, but take the nourriture, you still have Okay, I can help you. If you have more than one Sunbird out, you get zero value. That's not true, Strider. You get a ton of value. You totally get value from repeated Sunbirds. I used to have four of them at once, and I would get seven spells. With Nexus of Fate, you can get in one turn, sometimes up to like four or five turns. Um, it totally works. So now we just have to hope that this ends up functioning for us. It may not. It may, but it may not. They only have one forest. They actually have none. Oh, if you have fires out... Oh yeah, with fires it's garbage. Fires is not good with sunbirds. It's only good for the setup phase, but then you have to use something like, you know... Um, Dance of the... Uh, not Dance of the Men's, but the, the other one that bounces artifacts and enchantments back to their owner's hand.
Sorry folks, my kid needed help. So what's going on with this? I have to sack a non-token per- I guess I'll, uh, I'll lose this, that's fine. Um... So, do you just... Grow I think you just grow- I don't think I shatter the sky here, it doesn't make sense. Oh, Storm's Wrath is interesting. It definitely narrows down what they're allowed to keep. And now this has a higher chance of just removing something very, <laughs> very important, like, you know, a land. Uh, and now they have to sacrifice a non-land, so it's gonna be no- <laughs> We have nothing! Oh, what a fat meme. <laughs> oh god. Poor opponent. What if you did a Titan's Nest build for Sunbirds? Handle the problem of tapping out for a 6 mana enchantment? Um, on Arena that sounds like uh, a fat waste, but yeah, I could see it. I'd rather my lands be 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 blown up than stolen. Yeah. I'm with you. I agree. Do you think the old Mardu land destruction deck you use? Uh, no, it doesn't have any chance. It's way too slow. That was from an era that's long gone now where you are you were allowed to actually play cards. I like that they kept this, so now Fable can blow itself up. This could be bad for us. Good job. <laughs> I 
Oh, this is so silly. <laughs> I can't even play. Yeah, I'm doing well, Grawl. Thanks for thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm uh, playing some pretty old school, <laughs> old school uh, removal tribal deck. Oh, this one is definitely on the weirder side of things. Um, so if we blow up the land, we don't get any value from this. So I think the drawn from dreams, like drawn from dreams, is correct. The thing is, we get double mana from things now, so it almost doesn't matter. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Cause I yeah, I have to pay extra. It's my bad. I was I was so confused. I was like, what are they talking about? Yeah, cause I get I have to play extra. I understand. I understand. I understand. Do I want to do that? Cause then I can't play omniscience. Wait, how much are you, little shit? You're too expensive to be played, are you? Alright, little princess. I'm too good for you, huh? I still can't play- I should have begun with binding. I should have started with binding. <laughs> I love the amount of things that just exploded. Mmm. I should have targeted the other one, I guess. I'm sure there was a way to win right away. But is it as fun as just blowing up some good old lands? I can't imagine so. Opponent's a champ for sticking in there. That they are. I would have been gone a very long time ago. They're here to see the degeneracy. I reckon as much. So we're gonna grab Banefire now. <laughs> no, 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 don't cast it for zero, you fuckwit. Dude, I've done that before. Never again. Where's Thousand Year Storm? It would be fun on the sideboard. Mm. 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 <laughs> it's too much. The bad shooting. Mm. <laughs> it's too much. If the bar is too big. Yeah. That is bad. Yeah. 
and <laughs> someone say dicks. Hey. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna need blockers against Allura's deck. Can I get some dicks? Yeah, I love dicks. These are great. Maybe Flood of Tears Omniscience, but that's a different deck entirely. Now you're... See, this is the thing. You gotta stay on theme. The theme of this deck is to do... It's not a Flood of Tears deck. It's a land destruction, what am I doing with my life deck. It's a completely different thing. I won't lie, it is very tempting to play Clarion now. In fact, it is so tempting that I will. You're thinking, but what could my opponent have? That's right. Taking the block? What? Zero shame, bud. Zero shame. I'd wait for the Luris. Nah, it's never happening. They're never playing Luris until they have nothing on the board. God, that was good. That, that food I just ate. It went in my mouth and then down my esophagus into my stomach. And then it got coated in some amazing enzymes. And now I'm just busy digesting. It's just so sweet. I won't tell you the rest of the story because it's kind of dirty and nasty, but you know, you can probably figure it out. Sounds biological. Oh yeah, it was. It was really biological. Dicks! Yeah, like dicks. They go in my mouth and in my esophagus and then I digest them. Like dicks. Kind of like dicks, yeah. Hydrate, Mr. Streamer. Thanks for all the subs today, by the way, and all the Bruce and what the f okay. No, no, no. Thank you for nothing, chat. We got a... No, 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 no. What are they doing? What are they doing? Oi, mate. The fuck you think you're doing? Fucking hell. So I'm taking Sunbirds. And I, I should probably keep the Clarion there. So we're going to play one Clarion now, and we're going to play one Clarion later. Ah, what did they do? Why did they... Who plays Maelstrom Pulse? Like, Abzon Luris. It's a good deck. It's an enchantment deck. It's all about Eidolons and Kaya's Ghost Form. And... Sentinel's Eyes. Yeah, that, that too. That too. Uh-huh. It's all about that. Abzon Luris seemed good. I played so much of it. Yeah, but like... Why would you play a good card in it, right? You're supposed to play a bunch of Hateful Eidolons, Admirers Grasps, and, and Dead Weights. Oh no, they played Scary Eyes! <laughs> scary Eyes. <laughs> is that what you call it? Scary Eyes? You're not wrong, it is spooky. It is spooky. No! No, motherfucker! Put your fucking Mythos of Abs on me! You're- I saw you look at that card! Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Mother of God. They're hovering. Mm. You gone and fucking done it, bud. Fuck your green mana. Fuck it. And fuck you. Okay? How dare they? Yeah, fuck your other mana too. Where are your scary eyes now? Huh? What you gonna do now? You gonna look at me scared? From the graveyard? Ha <laughs> Nice joke! Come on, play more! Play a land! Oh, you don't wanna play a land? No worries! Let me just hit you for one... ...and blow up your shit. I made a mistake, I should have taken the Godless Shrine, because the other one was a check land, so now they could get an Isolated Chapel and curve a 2-drop. Ah, that's green mana is gonna go away, I'm afraid. 
That green mana can't stay here, bud. Not for long, at least. Um, is that a permanent or it's creature or planeswalker? Okay, so we're we're good with this, right? Actually, we're not that good. Let, let's wait. Wait. Extract value. Value extraction plan commencing or something. We're gonna have to take our sweet time here. We're gonna blow this up to check what's in the deck. I like that. I like the drawn from dreams. Good move. Good move. I like it. I'm gonna draw that next turn with Rogrin Trial on end step. We're gonna get ready to blow up some lands. BM. Opponent is very BM this game. Thunbird's Invocation. Like, when do you get to see that card? You know what? We're gonna throw this one away because we don't even care. I don't care. Yep, that one's gone. Visser! Thank you for the Prime! Thank you. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy your stay as we play Bruise on this fateful day. Well, 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 would you look at that. More Stars of Extinction. How fun. They're scooping, right? <laughs> yeah. Teach you to blow up the Sunbirds. I wasn't gonna blow up your green mana, but then you went and done it, fool. A great hand. See, I'm really happy I put an Omen of the Sea in the deck. I don't think it cost us very much deck building wise and it added a ton of consistency. Cider? No, it's just uh, sparkling water. Perrier? Oh, it's Perrier, mate. It's just Perrier water. Omen of the Sea is busted? Yeah, it, it's good, but it's better in, in large decks. The bigger the dick, the better. Hey, what they say. But the winch said, whoa, hold up. Unburial rights, huh? Unburial Oh yeah, you think I didn't see that one coming? I did. I saw it with my own eyes, da. The man's trying to cheat creatures from the grave. You can't let it happen, da. Well. You thought you were gonna have some land, fool. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh no. No land. No, no, no. Don't play a fourth. No. No. Now's not the time. Now is not the time. I am no. 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 You fucked your land drop. It's not coming. It's just a tap land. It's a triumph. Play a triumph. Bruh. Big fat bruh. We might have a problem, dear. I am experiencing fear. A uh, spin to win? Can I play haphazard to survive? Or do we try to get a star of extinction from Yorion, right? Because we could just fetch a star. 100% chance I hit the pig. I mean, the thing is, they'll have another mana for the pig anyway. Like, they have a lot of bonds. And <laughs> the Russian pig roulette. No, 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 no. It's not about the pig, folks. I think it's about the star of extinction setup. You just gotta be big-brained. We gotta, we gotta play the croquis way. Say some Scottish shit. Oi, oi, lads. <laughs> yeah. We can do this. We got this. This is easy. This game is just super easy. 
I, I think uh I think we've got this. Intimidation. <laughs> it didn't work. Intimidation did fucking nothing, chat. You've kicked your last kick. Shall not kick again. Let the kicking begin. Hey, Croaky, I just saw your deck. Historic Angels. Is that what it is? With Soul Warden or Leonin Bishop. Yeah, I'm seeing it now. Bombardment is clearly the out. Yeah, I mean, if you're a coward, no more kicking. You will not kick on my watch. Kek a doodle doo, bitch. No, no, no. Please don't be. <laughs> I'll say one thing though this deck is super powerful with triomes. Uh, it makes the consistency of the deck go up tremendously. People leave is a gift that people use. Oh man. <laughs> Five, four, three, scoopity scoop, doop, doop. Scoopity 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 scoop, doop, doop. Scoopity scoopity scoop, doop. Scoopity scoop, scoopity scoop, doop, 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 doop. Scoopity scoop, scoopity scoop. Opponent's gonna scoopity scoop, doop. Scoopity scoop, scoopity scoop, scoop the suit, suit. Scoopity scoop, 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 scoop the suit, suit. Scoop the suit. Would you fucking scoop the suit, suit? Come on, scoop the suit. Scoop the fucking suit. Why are you still in the suit? Is this fucking Gundam? Okay, what is this? Nice. In the words of famous Russian intelligence officer, nice. I'm just trying to figure this out. Did I just hit four lands? I guess I did. They kept saying good game. I don't know why they're saying good game. Twiggy, why are you saying good game, Twiggy? I was going to say I'm losing this game, but then... Another good game. That's three so far. Three. We're at three good games. How many more? But then the Fire Nation attack. <laughs> I think it's too fitting because he's Sarkon. <laughs> it's just better than it should be. That joke is too funny right now. It would be unfunny in every circumstance where he's not playing <laughs> fucking Sarkon. But here, here is just perfect. Good job. Good timing. They want me to say it back? <laughs> I try not to, because I'm thinking if maybe they'll feel BM'd, you know? Maybe they will not feel like I was honorable. Is it the honorable thing to do? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck did I do? I clicked, I clicked the thing. I don't get a single good game in a week and the streamer gets three good games in a single game. Yeah, it's unreal, right? But it was, you notice the discrepancy. Like very often the, the density of good games is proportional to how dominant you are. You know, you don't get any GG's if you act like a sub. You gotta just go in there and be like, blow up your land, blow up your board, blow up your land, blow up your board. Blow up your land, blow up your board, and then you've got the other people that are subs. That are kind of trying to pretend like they're doms, they're going, Fire's Invention, Yorion, steal your shit. They're expecting the GG back. 
You can't do that. If you if you do that, people see through the fucking sham. It's obvious. You're insecure. It's everybody it's written on your forehead. I'm insecure. Agent of treachery. Mm, get cucked, bro. Like it's no, you got to just blow shit up with confidence. Like this here. Right now they're thinking, ha ha ha, my opponent's gonna lose to my Winota bullshit, and I'm gonna go, no, top deck of land, blow your board up. Just not draw the land, fine, whatever, man, I'm gonna lose to Winota, and that's fine, man, or whatever, I just... <laughs> I don't care, you gotta give them the win sometimes. Even kids gotta win occasionally, you know? You know, the, the reality... Science says if the kids can't win, they'll stop playing. Need some fish at the table. You can't let the kids lose every time. This is fun. I'm having fun, aren't you, lads? Ah, oh, good game. <laughs> well, that was a uh, that was a. Uh, they call it what the heck? They call it a bum rush, not because it's fast, like a bum. It's because it goes into your bum. In a rushy fashion. We got bum rushed. Oh, we got we got bum rush right there. And that's what happens when you print an EDH card in standard. <laughs> it's historic, so it's not that bad. It's just, it's not the same thing. You know? Lurus of the Clarion, the Clarionable Den. Hello! Oh my god, they're talking. Hello. Oh, you're just monor- you're just monorant. Fuck you! Opponent's like, hello, hello! Hi! You wanna talk to me and interact with- No, I don't want to. I thought you were playing a fun Lurus. Hello, I'm monorant aggro. Uh. What a fucking bamboozle. I just got bamboozled. Hello. On Luris. I mean, I want to give them something I don't need desperately. I should probably play Sacred Foundry in hindsight on turn one, but. Esports is what it is. You can't control it, it controls you. Alright, well, that's uh, that's all gone. It's gone, gone, gone. Lightning Strike, just straight up in the face like that. Jesus fucking Christ, ma. I will play the land that comes and tapped and costs us life. Next turn we play Haphazard, but is it even good? It, is, it, is, is it even a good card? I'm sensing... Oh, they don't have double black for Lurus. Why, why did you put the, put the, why, why of all the things you could have chosen anything you chose that? Engaging big brain time. Shadow of the sky. Storm's rat right there. I'm deafening Clarion. Why are you so useless? Okay, wait, hold up. We can still do this. 
All we have to do is make sure that the thing that dies is the G2 Lava Runner. Oh, 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 oi, 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 oi. Sort of. Playing with their nerves. Uro's good. I mean, this can get me a Heliod's intervention, but it's slow. So I need to begin with Heliod. And then I have to go Fae of Wishes for Heliod's intervention. And then I have to play this as a 1-4. And on average? On average, I think we're... Okay. I'm not saying we're winning. I'm saying on average, we're okay. Because that's a lot of life we're gaining next turn. Why wouldn't you keep that for when the flame starts popping into 3? In Crokey's world. I see green outline, I play card. That premature GG feels so good now. Especially the hello on turn one. I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting that deck to be coming out of the hello. Why would they keep it to 4 when he knows you have the intervention? Well, they need even more damage in that case, so I think you keep it to 4 even more. But you're right, probably me gaining 20 life wasn't gonna help. <laughs> it probably... it was probably over. Miramax is my opponent's name. So how did they get to the Miramax name? What's the what's the joke here? They just like look for something random to name themselves after they were asked for a username. Opponent says hello, I'm like crap, they have their best possible opening hand. I mean, is that something that has held true as an assumption or not? Because I'm actually kind of curious now. You mentioned this and I've never really paid attention, but it could be true that on average people have better hands when they do that. I only say hello when I have the nuts. I always have my nuts with me. I'm never, I'm never nutless. So should I say hello more often? That clip is gold. Wacky waving and flavor arm flailing tube man. What? <laughs> I like it. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. <laughs> that clip is gold. As per control, it is, right? Everybody's mad? Why is everybody mad? <laughs> that thought erasure. Uh. A lot of mana adds yeah, for the the haphazard bombardment we're gonna get soon. That's why we have it. Can't thought erasure my Yorion, can you? No. Now Q 20,000 20, lands being drawn one after the other. 
gonna be a sad day. Come on, haphazard off the top. Go, 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 go. Fair of wishes is fine too. I'm not gonna argue with fair of wishes. You have fair of wishes, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, sure, whatever, man. Whatever makes you happy. No, I don't think we can, Elysia. I'd have to ask. <laughs> it's so good, the clip. It's so good because the light on the shirt makes everything jiggle and it's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> I need to find a way to put that clip on the stream. It's actually just amazing. <laughs> the light angle <laughs> makes everything jiggle. You field wipe the field wipe deck? No, we don't play Field of the Dead, no. I mean, I think it would make sense to play at least a 1 0. Dude, bro, please, son. I'm not your dude, bro. I was feeling good until this started happening. Oh. I'm just, do I look, I'm supposed to be playing from my sideboard. That's a starting point, but I don't think it's all that helpful. GG, my dude! Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on here. Well, he can't change cards. Why would they reprint them in paper? That's a no-no. Well, now we got this for the cycling. Okay, that's not terrible. We might just have a shot! Uh-oh. I'm not your bro, homie. I'm not your homie boy, bro. What are you doing? What you got? What, what could they possibly have? Like, clear the mind? Maybe they're going for omniscience? Would they be crazy enough to do omniscience? I can't imagine so. Maybe an Elspeth conquers death? Conjecture, maybe? Marori conjecture seems like it would make sense. Conjecture seems like... Oh my god. I mean, so this one's getting countered, but the next one ain't. <laughs> Is that Devious cover-up? Mother f Okay, it's Devious cover-up. It is Devious cover-up. Fine, we don't care. Anybody got time for this shit? Here's a second one! I hope you don't need blue mana. At least not too much. People cast that spell. I've played uh, Devious Cover Up from the sideboard on Mastermind's Acquisition, yeah. It's not bad. Watch him play Tef and bounce it. Yeah, that's probably what's gonna happen. Man, the Dreadhorde. Mother of God. That's fun. I sure feel funned up right now. I feel very funned up. Wait, they come back to... They come back to my battlefield. If they blink the Elvishes, right? I get them back, don't I? What did they target? Oh, they didn't target the Elvishes. Okay, no, sure, that's fine. Oh, they, it has to only balance permanents that you own. Gotcha. Makes sense, makes sense. We gotta get a Drawn from Dreams from this somehow, and I don't know, do we have the mana for this? Only have three left over after that line. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's a way for me to get out of this in a good spot, but... I'm gonna try. Cause I know they'll, they'll just Tef this somehow. Of course, this is the freaking Masterminds. What is that gonna be? Heliod's intervention to blow up my two enchantments? Star off the top? We need star off the top, but we need more than that. It's just, it's not even enough. 
I need some crazy ass drawn from dreams. Maybe if I pull Chandra 6 from the sideboard, we can win the long game against them. I could see that more or less happen. I mean, it's, it's a stretch, but I could see it. So they, they, maybe they pulled off Todd Erasure to discard the Sunbirds. It would be strange, but I guess they could. If they have Absorb, they just don't care about what I'm doing here, so... It's all a big, I don't give a fuck. Boom! Drawn from dreams. Oh, I can't cash it at instant speed. Fuck you, Tef. Little shithead. <laughs> Fucking Sunbird is like, I'm gonna cast! Nope. Nope, you're not. What do you mean? Bah. They had a stroke and printed me. Nice to meet you, I'm, I'm Teferi. What? What? Fucking... Deck was fun though. I appreciated this deck. I thought it was very enjoyable. It's a very different type of game. Very, very different type of deck. It plays super differently. I didn't know Nox is this of a comedian. Me, a comedian? I'm not a comedian. I don't comedy. I don't comedy. I'm always very serious people. Very serious person. So Strider, thanks for this. Uh, that was nice. I'll just uh, export this real fast. All right, so here are the changes between uh, what Noxious did and what I had initially. So um, Noxious actually ended up putting a fourth Fae of Wishes, which I 100% agree with. One of the thing, and he also added three Omen of the Sea, which I'm still against Omen of the Sea. I think it's a bullshit card, but... It's so good. So I think I have to actually put it in there because it's really good. Um, he did take out Whirlwind of Thought, though. That's one of the big things. Uh, I thought Whirlwind of Thought w had just had an amazing synergy with Sunbird's Invocation because with Sunbird's Invocation, it specifically says you're casting the card from your library without paying its mana cost. Whirlwind of Thought is whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you draw a card, so it's additional card draw. The thing is, is that it's still four mana, and you have so many other things to do on turn four or with four mana that it doesn't have as big of a as big of a payoff. It just kind of assists you in winning more instead of um, like keeping you alive or um, assisting you to get to that later game. You know. Uh, I think it was, I, I was forcing a pseudo combo in there that wasn't really necessary. Um, uh, so as much as I'm against taking that out, I think it was a very good idea to take it out in general. Um, he did take out one of the Mirari's Wakes, which I'm still not sure about. I, I think keeping three in there is probably a better idea. Uh, he kept in all the growth spirals. Again, he added three Omen of the Seas, which judging from uh, what he actually displayed in his uh, in his games i think maybe throwing in a fourth omen of the seed may be the best option um let's see kept all the shatters in there uh kept the three storms wrath kept the three drawn from dreams yeah took out so yeah i think he just took out the three whirlwind of thoughts added one fey of wishes took out one mirari's wake and then added the three omen of the seas and I believe that's all he changed on the main board. Yeah. Um, oh, one thing on sideboard that we needed to change that I didn't, that I forgot to do, and so did he. We needed to put a time wipe in sideboard just so that we could get a uh, fave wishes from the board back to our hand. Uh, so that is one thing that we do have to change from these sideboards. We have to add in a time wipe. So that's something to keep in mind. Most likely just take out something stupid like the flicker fakes. It's not really necessary. Probably just take that out. That's really just a total meme anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, he, he took the deck that we thought was going to be not good at all. Uh, and he made a couple of tweaks. And just like most of the people in the stream said, we need to throw an omen of the scene here. I hate it but i really think we might need to have it yeah i think we need it 
And throwing in that fourth Fae of Wishes, I believe, adds to the overall consistency. I mean, over, the fact that Nox really, really liked it, I think at least shows something. I think it shows something. It has, it has something there. So, who knows? Well, yeah, let me know in the comments section below. And uh, let me know if you want to see him doing more deck donations, or if you have other streamers you want, or if you have other crazy deck ideas, So I'm always looking for stuff. But yeah, I mean, this, this whole thing seemed like a really good, a really good foundation. We have a good foundation on this deck. I think we're going places. I think we're going places. But yeah, again, make sure to check out his stream and his YouTube channel, all of his other social media links. It'll be all down below, so... Till then, I will see you on stream, and I'll see you tomorrow for the YouTube video. Peace. Yo, what up, YouTube? Yeah, we going here, Strider. Come on. You didn't really think that I was that type of person, did you? Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you were even a little bit entertained by this video, please make sure to let me know down below. And if you have anything that you would like to see next, go ahead and leave that there, too. And make sure to check out my live stream five days a week, every day except Sunday and Thursday. Stream time's down below.